There is simply no time. There will be no memory of America to continue. No history to fight for. You were the losers of your high school class. We have gone out into this group of Americans or cast adrift and crushed underfoot. We all got different types of pants on. The cities have turned in waste. Reclaim your virginity. The hero cyclist uh, is DC resident Joe Flood who decided to go taunt and I love that he decided to go taunt white supremacists as they were marching through his town in DC over the weekend. Now later speaking to MSNBC's Rachel Maddow, Flood said he also mocked the supremacist speaker for forgetting his speech. He said, quote, you look like General Custer's illegitimate son. The guy sighed and looked at me. And I thought, I got you, I got in your head, now get out of my town. I, King. Excellent. King behavior. <laughs> yeah, Joe Flood, the hero that America didn't know it needed mm. in 2023. But also like the insult of cargo pants are out. Like no. I, I, I was enjoying- Are those cargo pants or khakis? That's the question. Well, <laughs> they're, on, they're not matching, so how can we know? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, they did not coordinate. Not very patriot frontish. Like I mean, I thought fascists, they're supposed to be in on the fashion. Like they're, they, they're the, they put the fashion fashion. They try to like coordinate and have those outfits. <laughs> well, they, they can't even do that. They didn't forget the masks, I'm guessing because they don't wanna suffer any consequences for being part of um, you know white nationalist march. And maybe they're anti-fash. Um, so look, uh, I love the insults so much. Uh, uh, my favorites are, you're sloppy. <laughs> Just like randomly, you're sloppy. Your friends hate you, okay? Well, by the way, all of these are very likely true. Yeah. Okay, and then my favorite of all time is you look like General Custer's illegitimate son. <laughs> I mean that is that's just genius. What about reclaim your virginity? Oh, that's that was, hilarious. I thought, too. I thought for no. sure that's what you were gonna say. No, I know the, the General Custer line was so perfect. I'm gonna ask a super dumb. Well, I don't know if it's a dumb question. It definitely makes me look dumb. But what does that mean to like reclaim your virginity? Uh, I don't know, and I don't care. Okay, I don't all right, great. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't think he was worry calling about them it. virgins, but wait, yeah. and it, got it, it got didn't it. come out. I mean, which I love because so many of these guys are just like incel freaks. Uh, they hate that's what he's referring to, and he put it in a super funny way. But no, I don't think it's supposed to make logical sense. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I just wanted to like get clarification on that because I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> okay, all right. Anyway, with that said, though, well, you know, this incredible guy Joe Flood is calling out these white supremacists, there are some on Fox who pretend as though white supremacy doesn't exist at all. Now remember, this is a, um, well, what's the name of the group again? Uh, Patriot, Patriot Front, Front. Um, March in DC, it happened over the weekend. But Rachel Campos Duffy is like, white supremacy, what name so? I'm gonna just say it, I think it's evil. It's evil to take a country as good as ours. A country that really, if you look at people's everyday interactions with people of other races and cultures here in America, they're, they're by and large 99.9% peaceful, loving, people want to live in America the way Martin Luther King had it, where we don't see color, we look at people's character, that's who we are. I, mm. I, there's literally nothing that gets me more pissed off than the softening of the edges of Martin Luther King for conservative political gain. Oh, they love to do that. He had like, I mean, like, go on. Yeah. Now this came Loser. after <laughs> uh, Joe Biden gave a speech at Brown, I'm sorry, at Howard University, uh, where he denounced white supremacy as the quote most dangerous terrorist threat. And here's a snippet of that piece uh, of that speech. The harsh reality that racism has long torn us apart. It's a battle that's never really over. But on the best days. Enough of us have the guts and the hearts to st stand up for the best in us. To stand up against the poison of white supremacy as I did my inaugural address to a single out as the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland is white supremacy. Is that Strom Thurmond's funeral or was that old footage? <laughs> it was at um, Howard University's mm -hmm. graduation. It's a little dig. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Because he bragged about being such good friends with Strom Thurmond, who was a segregationist and ran as a segregationist. Joe Biden has a questionable pass mm -hmm. on this issue, but I agree with what he said there. Yeah, me too. I agreed with what he said there. Uh, Fox News, though, not so much. Let's watch. 
he for political gain because he has failed so much as a president and taken our country so down he understands the only way he could win is to convince some pretty dumb college kids at that university if they believe him well what a disservice. Uh, that, that, it's a disservice if they believe that this country is full of white supremacists, and that's our number one threat. Um, but look, you saw in 2020, Pete, um, during that those riots, a lot of people could be convinced that this is not, this is a racist country. That's being taught at it's that university taught. and yes. at universities across America. So that statement is not surprising to the ears of those kids or no. to the ears of most college kids across America. They've been programmed to believe that is true, most of which have never left the country, never seen real, you wanna see real racism? Travel the world. What's the name of the guy with the weird, like, fluffy mullet situation going on over there? I don't know. But yeah, Hexeth. Pete Hexeth. 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 I confuse him. Have some self respect, but you gotta cut your hair. Like, no, what's no, going I, on? I think that he, like, wanted to be clearer that he's a villain. And so he well, what did, is that? like he did some sort of weird villain hairdo there. He has the Tulsi gray stripes, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. But, but more so. Anyway, that's a fun little comment uh, about the racist, but back to the main issue. Right, yeah, sorry about that. Um, so look, I, I actually do not agree that this country is full of white supremacists. I think that there is a loud and incredibly dangerous at times um, minority, like tiny, tiny group of people who happen to be white nationalists. You saw them marching in DC with that Patriot Front, front video. Um, but what Fox does and what the right wing seems to have an interest in doing is completely erasing the reality of the existence of white supremacy in the United States, right? So a perfect example would be the shooter in Allen, Texas, who very, he had a freaking swastika tattooed on his body. And you still have right wingers denying that he was a neo-Nazi or a white supremacist. Yeah, yeah. And, and white supremacy isn't just the guys in cargo shorts or in the slacks. It's all it's a, it's an ideology. They're, they they try it's they straw man it. They try to make it this small group of of total yep. freaks. But it's it's it gradual, uh, broadly spread structural ideology that we live under in this country and that we're still trying to suck the poison out of. Um, do you think that there's an added discussing this to their commentary that knowing that Howard University is a, a HBCU? Yeah, it's a, a black school and she says these dumb kids, uh, they think there's, there's racism in America, can you believe it? I, I wanna break it down further actually. So look, there's actually I think three different ways of looking at white supremacy. Um, so one is the groups like uh, Patriot Front that just say, no, 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 we want to separate the races, we want a white ethno state. They're super clear about it. So, but Fox News makes you think like that's all white supremacy is, those smaller groups that believe these radical ideas. But that's not all it is. There's two other layers to it. Uh, there's the largest layer, which is the racism that is has been built into our institutions that, and we've gotten it out of some of them. But not in a lot of them, okay? And so here, I'll give you a very common example, which is that you know we can talk about all the things that have happened, like redlining and 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 denying them homes in certain places so they can't build up assets, so that then it creates a giant income disparity and a wealth disparity, and it keeps generations of black folks down. But then there's things like criminal justice, where um, white folks and black folks smoke marijuana at nearly the same exact rate. But black people get arrested at 3.7 times the rate of white people. Now that's institutional racism. Now why does it happen? Is it because the Patriot Front runs all the cops and the Justice Department? No, there are certain assumptions that are made and police departments all across the country target minorities in the poorest parts of town because they don't have power. And what winds up happening is so they wind up getting arrested at 370% the amount of white people do. Now, white people never see that because they didn't get arrested and they didn't see the black people getting arrested, right? But it is built into our system. And it's not something that happened in ancient history. That's happening today, today. And no one is changing it. It's one thing to have that happen and every, the whole country go, oh my God, I didn't know that happened. I'm so sorry about that. Let's fix it. It's another thing for the country to see that and go, rock and roll, let's keep doing that. Right? Let's keep being incredibly unfair to black people in this country. And so that's a form of what some people would call white supremacy or institutional racism. And then there's the third category, which is in the middle, which is a lot of the right wing groups that use code words. And now with Trump, not as many code words. Now they don't go all the way to Nick Fuentes, although Nick Fuentes did have dinner with Donald Trump. And so, <laughs> yeah. so it's, 
it's not that far apart. And Nick Fuentes is an out and out white supremacist, right? And so, but code words are not code words. A lot of the right wing say like, oh, those discrepancies are no big deal. There should there shouldn't be criminal justice reform. There shouldn't be this. There shouldn't be that, etc. And they don't want to fix a system that in some parts are clearly broken and racist racist in its effect. So you can have a nuanced conversation like this, or you can go on Fox News and go, oh yeah, anyone who thinks that there's white supremacy is dumb kids. Ha ha ha! I got you. Or you could be Tommy Tuberville. Who said the other day and had that that audio recording of him essentially saying that white supremacists? I don't call them that. I call them Americans. Oh, um, I saw that. Yeah, and then Disgusting. and I mean, and he also was saying, well, I I said that because sometimes that's what they call us, like Trump supporters, and and I, I just don't I don't think that's true. I mean, I think that's a straw man and a flattening of things that you like. I can understand saying that's not politically useful, but if they do, I mean, it's part, partly because you guys are freaking racist. So you got to look in the mirror a little bit. And and so by the way, like, it doesn't help to say and. And, I, and sometimes I get passionate and carried away that all right wingers or all Republicans are racist. A lot of them hate the establishment and are super mad at their economic conditions. And but it also is crazy to say that none of them are racist, right? We, we see the groups, we see how large they are, we see the, uh, that uh, Pete, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene went and spoke at Nick Fuentes' event. And she edited his speech, she knew exactly that he was a white nationalist and she went to that event anyway. And Tons of Republicans love Marjorie Taylor Greene, and they know that, right? Some of them know, some of them don't know it. So it requires a real conversation, but that's not what's happening on Fox. The last thing I'll say about Fox is in that same segment, they talked about, no, the real terrorism is not coming from white supremacists. But no, actually, we're getting killed, literally killed with the guy with the swastika, the guy in El Paso, the guy at the synagogues, on and on and on and on, right? Of actual white supremacist terrorism that's happening here and killing us. And they said, no, the real terrorism is the Chinese Communist Party. Oh. <laughs> I mean, what do they mean by that, right? I, I Are they referring to fentanyl? Is that what they're referring to? I, I, because by the way, I don't think they like, care. They're just throwing out things they don't matter. like. They don't like Chinese people, <laughs> and that's the new frontier. And Biden, like, completely ramping up rhetoric, reopening military bases in the Philippines. Philippines and doing deals with, I mean, this is one of the most outrageous things I think that Biden's done. Doing that military submarine deal with Australia so that we could just build up our military yep. right outside the border of China and ramping that up. In That's China. not enough for them. They, 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 want, they, they want, well, they want hate crimes against, uh, or at least I shouldn't say that. The, uh, the hate crimes against Asian Americans in this country go up and they don't care about that. But they want like straight up militarism with China. They're psychotic. Look, the Chinese government does a ton of things wrong, and they, they are got concentration camps for Muslims in China, the Uyghurs. That's my last name. It's not my people, but it's my people as in they're Muslim, etc. So I got no love for the Chinese government. But has there been a lot of Chinese communist shootings in America that I missed? Mm. Like this is an absurd thing to say, but their audience loves that. They eat it up all day long. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.